Sharshuddin Yahya Maneri, born in Maneri in the late 12th century, 1263. Uh, he traveled to Bengal and Delhi in the course of his spiritual training, got trained with different spiritual masters until he decided to come back to his hometown and settle in a place called Bihia near Patna. Later in his life, he also settled in a place called Rajgir, from where we are currently coming. Uh, in both these play places in Bihia and Rajgir, Sharfuddin Maneri led a very secluded life. He was cut away from the community and the local society around him and lived the life of a complete ascetic. It, it was only after he was requested to come over to Bihar Sh Sharif, where, where the place where we are currently standing, that he came into more direct contact with the people and the community around. And as a result of his various uh, various benevolent activities and the popularity he enjoyed among the population, his devotees and disciples and also the common residents of Bihar and this place called Bihar Sharif, he came to be bestowed with the epithet of Magdumul Mulk or the person who is served by the entire world. This place called Bihar Sharif takes its name particularly from the, the Darga Sharif of Sheikh Maneri, and uh, it means a very sacred and a pious place. So, go ahead. <laughs> in a sense also becomes symbolic of the perpetual blessing of, of the saint which is captured in that physical space. So, so, so that people and devotees and worshippers come back from time to time, take, take water in, from, from that spring, drink that water from that spring and in a sense interiorize that perpetuity or become a part of that perpetuity. So, also look at the similarity. Uh, Omrita Bari of the Hindus they are being replaced by uh, Ave Hayat. Hayat means Zindagi, Ab means water. Ave Hayat or Ave Zindagi. This is the Ave Hayat or Amrita Bari, the Muslim version. Because Ab is or water, Ab or water is related to life, Zindagi. So Ave Zamzam is recreated in a distant geographical position. So it's many things combined at one. It's a spiritual blessings of the saint, it's a charisma, it's a sense of perpetuity. It's a sense of that spiritual power which is being continued across temporality. So temporality cannot bound the charisma and the spiritual power of, of the saint. It is being carried over through a very uh, m medium which is produced by nature itself, which, which is not manufactured artificially. So the, so the spirit and the charisma of the saint is being perpetuated through a natural medium. As he returns to nature after his physical demise, his blessings and charisma is also perpetuated through that same medium of nature. Some people will associate this with the popular culture, but others will say that he has to be the maintaining proximity with the Islamic high tradition because uh, water is also necessary for ablution, mm -hmm. spiritual cleansing. Before offering the prayer, you have to clean yourself sufficiently. So from that perspective also this uh, use of water can be interpreted, defined. Mm -hmm. So both sides can legitimize themselves mm -hmm. by offering their own version of water and their utility.